Hi guys, right now I'm going to teach you how to make a multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction table using Microsoft Excel. Now in column A, row 2, you will write number 1. Then row 3, write type 2. Row 4, type 3. Now you've got it. I'm going to leave an empty space here. Right here. Now highlight it from 1 to 3. Click number 1 and then highlight it. And then in the fill handle, position your cursor in the fill handle. And then click the fill handle and then drag it downwards. I'm going to drag it to 101 so I will get a 100. There. Have it. Now in columns B to D, row 1, you'll write in B1, C2, and then D3. Now, you'll highlight the 1, 2, 3, and then click the fill handle, and then drag it sideways. Below it, you'll see a box with a number. There. Now for the formula in multiplication, you will type equals, don't forget the dollar sign, capital A, the number 2. So dollars equals dollar sign A2, and then the asterisk for the multiplication, then capital B, and then dollar sign again, and then 1. Now, press enter. And then you will have it. Now, click the, the box, the cell. And then, in the fill handle, click it and then drag it sidewards or downwards so that you can have an easy life. You will just see what you did. Okay. And you have the answers. To make it more easy to consume less time, click the fill handle again and then drag it till 101. There. Now you will have the answers in multiplication. Now I will remain it. Rename it. To rename it, you will, you will type your desired name and type multiplication. You will click anywhere. Two. In issue two, I've already done work on doing what doing this this it will be just easy because the only thing that is different here is a formula now in division the formula is equal sign and then dollar dollar sign then a2 and then important one of the important things is this forward dash for division and then capital B, and then dollar sign again, and then 1. You will press enter, and then you will have your answer. Then, click the cell, click the fill handle, drag it, well, let's try downwards, drag it downwards. So then it fills you 100, 100. Now you have the answer, so then you can also drag it sideways. Now you have the answer in answers in division. Now you complete the division table. Then you can rename it. And then I want to make it the division. There. And then click shoot 3. As I've said, the only different thing here is the formula. Then equal sign dollar sign capital A and then 2 now for the addition here is the plus sign plus sign and then capital B dollar sign and then what and then press enter then click the cell click the full handle 
drag it sidewards. For me, it's easier for sidewards. So, put it like this. And then you have the answers. And then, click the full handle and drag it downwards. Now, that is for addition. In your renaming, double click. And then type this hard name and click anywhere. On sheet 4, I'm for subtraction. I'm gonna just, you know, refresh your mind in doing the tables. In column A, row 2 to 4, and row 2, 1, row 3, 2, row for three now highlight it click the fill handle drag it downwards and then you will do the same column b to d row one and b1 c2 d3 now highlight it one two three and then click the fill handle and then drag it sideways. Or autofill it. And then for the formula, which is the only different thing in making tables for multiplication, division, and addition, formula for subtraction is equal sign. Of course, dollar sign and then capital A and then 2 and then D minus and then capital B, dollar sign again and then 1. Press enter. And then click the cell with the 0 or with the answer. Click the fill handle. Click the cell and then click the fill handle and then drag it sidewards. There, we have the answers, and then click the fill handle again, and then drag it downwards to make it easier. Now you will have the answers like that. Let's go. Now, of course, to rename, double click. Type the side name and then click anywhere. Now we have your multiplication, division, and addition and subtraction tables using Microsoft Excel. I hope you, I literally hope that you learned something here. Thanks. This is. Kathleen Aben now signing off. Thank you for watching.